I mean, seriously, what a day for Philadelphia sports. And with this here, this video will be about the Phillies, the Philly Sixers. There's so much going on. This is about the Phillies and the move they made today, and, and I love it. I love it. They go out, they get a catcher, they get a star catcher, arguably the best in the league. I mean, people want to say Buster Posey or Real Muto. We're going to go with him today because, you know what, he's on the Philly squad at this point. So, the package, the package that the Phillies sent over to Miami was a little hefty. Keep in mind, you are making a move inside the division as well, but we give up Sixto Sanchez, which has the star next to his name, and we will get to that, Jorge Alfaro. Will Stewart, and an international bonus spot. Was that the deal breaker? I don't know. Joking aside here, Sixto Sanchez. We've been hearing the name for how many years? This is the guy. This guy's going to be a stud. And you know what? He might be. He he did have some injury situations throughout his career, but he might become a nice piece, and I understand that. But I like putting the foot on the gas pedal. We are trying to make moves. Now, of course, everyone wants to talk about Bryce Harper, Manny Machado. Is the season still going to be worth it? I don't want to get to that level yet. Obviously, I will be extremely disappointed if we don't get a Bryce or a Manny, but making moves like this definitely helps the situation on maybe attracting these players to the Phillies to make us more of a ready-to-win-now squad. I understand that Sixto Sanchez has potential, but it's proven over promise at this point. How many, and I'll counter the argument, how many times have we been waiting for a guy, waiting for a piece, and then they're nothing? I would say multiple times. I would say more than multiple times. Too many times in reality. And and I'm not saying Sixto Sanchez is going to be great, is going to be bad, but I've seen it not work in the past. I've seen it work in the past. I've also seen it not work in the past. So if that's your argument on why you're upset because we gave up Sixto Sanchez, well then there's a chance he doesn't pan out to be as great as we expect him to be. Jorge, he's got a gun. He's got a cannon. He strikes out a lot, and defensively, he is a, a rough catcher right now. We are getting a phenomenal five-year veteran, 27 years old, a stud catcher. And most catchers hit at the bottom of the lineup. We just got a catcher who hits at the top. I mean, he's a legitimate hitter. Keep in mind the stature when he's in Miami, when there's no one really on the squad, when the when the team just stinks. He hit 277, 21 home runs. Now, Citizens Bank Park is way more of a hitter-friendly ballpark, so I expect that to go up closer to the 30s. 74 RBIs. He's good friends with Bryce Harper. I'm not saying that's a huge factor, but when you're Bryce Harper, you're sitting there, you understand the money that we have to spend, and we are clearly out to target him or Manny Machado. You start bringing in pieces like Andrew McCutcheon, Gene Segura, now pieces like this. It changes everything. It puts the mindset in as we are ready to go right now. I think we did put a little hefty package together. I do. But you know what? That's what it takes. That's what it takes. I don't want to sit back and then, oh, let's wait for these prospects. Let's wait for this. We just got a proven, legit star in the MLB. He's an athlete. An athlete. He's great defensively behind the plate. He hits very well. He's a, he's a leader. He's a leader. We have a young squad, Reese Hoskins, Aaron Nola. We bring in someone like Jake Arrieta, who statistically didn't have a phenomenal year, but he has that veteran presence. Now we're bringing in guys like Andrew McCutcheon. And that was one big thing I, I talked about once we got him, was his leadership role. Well, how about someone like this? Still young, but five years in. He's electric. He's a great player. The lineup's looking great, and the addition of someone like Bryce Harper or Manny Machado is going to put this over the top. But it's a ballsy move by the management, and I like it. I'm sick and tired of waiting back, waiting back, wait, waiting back. And you know, if Sixto Sanchez does become a star, it is what it is, all right? You're taking a risk, and I understand that. But I'm sick and tired of waiting, waiting, waiting for these prospects. Think about throughout the years, Dom Brown, all these other players. Hell, even J.P. Crawford. I know he's still young, but, you know, we expect him to come in and be this star. It wasn't what we expected. Now, I'm not ripping J.P. Crawford. I understand his circumstances and how young he really is, but I love the trade. I sit here, and I'm very excited, and I'm at the point now where, and I, I, don't, 
I really don't want to get to this extreme, but of course I still want Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. But what we've done this offseason now, I'm still pumped about. With or without. Now, with, I'm screaming literally my head off. Without, I'm still devastated because of the hope and promise and the stupid money thing. But you still look at our roster right now today, and I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Now, that doesn't mean I won't be upset, because I will be. But I'm just saying, what they've done so far to put together, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Of course, the big fish still needs to be landed, but I am intrigued on what we have so far this season. I'm even going to go as far as I'm going to give Gabe Kapler the benefit of the doubt heading into the season. Who would have ever thought? But we'll wait for that for another day. Real Mudo. Huh. <laughs> it's just crazy what, what Philly's management was able to do. But I know half the fan base is really upset with them. I want to know down below, do you think the package of Sixto Sanchez, Jorge Alfaro, Will Stewart, is that too much for someone like Real Muto, who isn't signed for that much longer? I'm just curious. Because I take a look at it and say, I like how both organizations, really, I mean, it's like we're feeding off Elton Brand right now, but... They're they're ready to they're ready to make some moves and I'm okay with with attempting something. I'd rather go out there attempt something and if it backfires it backfires, but you, you still give yourself a good chance. Regardless of what happens with Sixto Sanchez, think about what you're getting in return. Everyone wants to think about and focus on what we're giving up. How can we give up this? How could that be the package that we're sending to Miami in the division? But how about what we got? How about what we received? A proven star. A proven great player in this league. And when you when you have an argument on who's the better catcher, him or Buster Posey, well, that's a good position to be in. That's a good argument to have. And that's our player who's in that argument. I expect him to have a better season. You can even take a look at his away stats outside of Miami. How well he hit the baseball. And I expect the home run numbers to go up tremendously. Uh, Citizens Bank Park is a friendly ballpark for hitters. And you see him in the low 20s in Miami. And I get that. And it's tough, though. Think about the environment he played in every single game in Miami or on the road. And no one cares. And it's just a different situation. You hit a market like Philly, it could spark up your, your juice. Not that he even needs that type of level. Because he's that much of a veteran player that... <laughs> He plays regardless. But it's just a, an awesome feeling to know, in my opinion, that the Phillies are ready. That the Phillies are ready to rock and roll. That they're ready to make a run at this thing. And they know just as much as we know, the big fish is still out there. And this puts us in a better position. Imagine being Bryce Harper, hearing these offers from all these other teams. Oh, what's Philly got going over there? Oh, they picked up Gene Segura? Oh, they picked up Real Muto? Oh, they have McCutcheon? Oh, Reese Hoskins? Oh. Oh. Now that's what I'm talking about. I just don't understand how you can be that upset. But if you are, if you are, I need to know down below why. Are you telling me waiting three more years for Sixto Sanchez? Is the right move. And hey, only time will tell. I know that's so cliche, but it is true. Only time will tell to see who panned out on this. But for the argument of this is the prospect we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for a lot of prospects. And not every pros prospect does pan out. So go get your proven player over your prospect. Sometimes that's the way you kind of have to rock and roll with it. I understand it's a little risky. I understand that that is involved and that this is a, a deal of players that had some promise here in Philadelphia. But I'm taking proven over promise. I'm excited, though. It's slowly starting to come, right? Late February, it can probably go into March at this point, and I expect it to. J.D. Martinez was what, February 24th? This is Bryce Harper. I'm thinking it's going into March. So I'm just sitting back on the lazy, comfy chair, and when I see it, I see it. But this puts us in a better position to go out and grab somebody like Bryce Harper or Manny because we are just that much more noticeable and attractive to these type of players if they're ready to win now. Obviously, it's it's about money. At the end of the day, it's it's about money and who can offer the most. 
but it also has to factor in if, if you have a team that's ready to go. So how about probably the most money any team can spend on top of having a team that's ready to go to rock and roll? I'm pumped, though. I'm pumped. I like it. I like the move. It's ballsy. It's risky. But I get that. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Remember me saying it. At the time, I'm totally okay no matter what happens with Sixto. No matter what happens with Alfaro. Or Will Stewart. Or the international bonus spot. I'm okay with it. Thank you guys so much for listening. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time.